Welcome everyone with more from Life is Strange Double Exposure, where right now uh, we will start another chapter, chapter 3. And well, at the end of chapter 2, we had a very, very insane situation with this photo with Max and the gun. I mean, come on, what the hell is going on over here? I cannot wait to see that. So keep up the support and with hitting the subscribe button, which is greatly appreciated. And let's continue this game. I cannot wait. No. Oh. Whoa. Wait a second. We are having something new here. Oh man, that looks kind of cool. This one, the black one. Let's go. Spin. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillion time. I've got to be missing something. So many times and still nothing? Oh boy. Let's try one more time. All right. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no... Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, Dead World Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. We will have to check that out, definitely. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. Yeah, let's check that, right? Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Yeah. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The 
photo. If he sees that. I have some questions for you. Okay, what do you want to know? Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Oh, come on. I guess I'm just unlucky. Just my shit luck, I guess. Oh, hard life, isn't it? Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? What? What do you mean? What telescope? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal. From the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. Oh man, that's not good. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? Yeah. Do it. She did it. Oh my god. It's 
That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Maya? Who is Maya? Sophie, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max. What the hell? How do I stop this? Tell me how to stop this. What do I have to do? Pull the trigger. I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. That's impossible, come on. Okay. We will speak with him now, alright? Annoying, avoid. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh. <laughs> oh shit. What a devil. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. Yeah, I think he will. Why not? I mean, I think we should stay in the dead scene. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Yeah, right. I think they did. I mean, uh, in the dead scene, I said... He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. In a dead world. Oh, message from Yasmin. Since he spoke to you... Who? Detective Alderman. Okay. He's under pressure. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's perfect. 
I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only. All right, let's wait for him. You stay the fuck away from me. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. If she don't know that, I haven't done it yet. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look! These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I. I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then, you'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Yeah, that's great. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Oh my god. He's too scared? <laughs> yeah, what he just saw right now. Okay. Carla, maybe? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> X-Files Dim. Yep. Right. So, he's too scared. He is doing nothing, so. We have to calm him down. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm 
sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Come on. This time, do something. Ready when you are. All right. I hope you are ready. Okay. Let's try this again. Psychic Storm. Okay. Angel Psychic Storm. We gotta repeat that. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Angel Psychic Storm. Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yes, um... Time travel couldn't fix anything. Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like 
Intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here, too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyed's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of... <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? Yeah, uh, you're not making sense. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... Oh my god, he just saw himself. Him, Moses, I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses. 
Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. No right. Okay. Jesus Christ. So what, Alderman just disappeared? Wow. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Yeah, at least we are all right. That's good. Okay. Okay, we just get some messages, so let's check that out. A platypus one here, all right. Moses, are you able to get my text when you're in the older timeline? I cannot. Yeah, that would be too crazy, come on. Alright, I guess that's it. Wait, notes about Moses. Okay. Acquaintance? No, my friend. An alderman? Um, I don't know. He's hey, not here anymore. Talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That thing, too. A snapshot. This angle's not working for me. I should try somewhere else. Oh, maybe from here? Oh, come on. It disappeared. <laughs> and I just moved a little bit closer. This is a lot... Whoa. ...prettier than my usual work, but... I like it. That looks very nice. And what do we have here? Freaking storm. <laughs> Christ almighty. Oh yeah. And Al Alderman's disappearing. Man, that was seriously insane. A Polaroid. Very good. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only going to shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? With Diamond. I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Snapshot of a record player. Old school. Nice. Let's grab that too. Oh, and how the plant is doing? It's alive! Oh, I think it's good. <laughs> yeah. The plant is doing great. Black rose. One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Okay, Pecan's stack of finals. All right, let's speak with her. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. 
No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Safi's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? Uh, why? Did you do this to Safi? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Then why did you do that? Huh. How did you convince the publisher? So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Oh. What was so... incendiary? Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. About Maya? She never mentioned her. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid he used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but... It's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Okay, last thing, Safi's manuscript. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. I know the way how to do that. How to get this how manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? New message from Moses, okay? Apparently need a reverend stage. Have any records of Detective Alderman ever? What? That's weird. How can they have no record of him? They sent him. I don't think they did. If there's no record about him, then yeah. Man, that's crazy, okay.
Ah, oh, shit, the room is closed. Well, shit happens, right? <laughs> gotcha. All right. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. And what? That's Whatever it? Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Yeah, I guess that's everything. Alright, so let's get out of here right now. Dead ward again? Yeah, because we can now exit from the room. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Sure. Alright, where's Yasmin? Oh, maybe she's in the living. Oh, wait, she should be in her office, right? Okay, let's switch to living world. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Perfect. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna... Try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Mm, okay. What should we start with? Have you seen Sophie today? Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Will Gwen be fired? I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. I see. It seems like you're in a good mood. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> okay. Sophie lost her book deal. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. And let's talk about Maya? Oh yeah, finally. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Yeah, let's try this second one. Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Yeah. There's a rumor about Maya. 
There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Uh, why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to? Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Exactly. Let's ask him, right? Moses. Mm, sure, what's up? Ask Moses about the Vin statements. Oh, okay. Yes. That helps. He's probably in the admin building. Lucas message. If you're available, I've acquired an extra ticket to the Burlington Expo. Uh, okay. I'll make it? Oh my god. Yeah, I can't make it. Not my cup of tea? Damn it, I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. Lucas must be really grateful if he deigns to be this nice to me. Yeah, of course he is. I guess, why not? Oh. Yay, sport! Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Yeah, something like that. Unforgivable. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean... I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you so nosy? What's going on? About Maya Okada. I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. Oh, shit. Man, was He's that... probably in the admin building. Was she a doppelganger? I have a strange feeling that she was not the real Amanda. And I just mentioned Maya Okada. She was, yeah, like, what? Why? Oh my god. Uh, wow, this is crazy. No, I don't know. I really have this strange feeling that uh, that this was the do doppelganger. But I don't know that 
if she is the one? I don't think so. I think uh, this doppelganger can change. Which is crazy, but yeah. Well, we will see. Just too many people uh, saw themselves. Right? It's impossible that we are having so many doppelgangers. Um, yes. I guess we should just speak with Vin right now here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Hey, Vin. Um, y yes means out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. What a dude. All right. Um, so how uh, long have you worked there? Yeah, let's ask him that. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me. But Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Because that's a secret. All right, wait. Let's switch to the dead one. Yes. Oh, speak to Dead World's Why diamond. is Yasmin talking about you, of all people, Vin? Because he knows something. That's why. Where's Yasmin? Uh, Diamond, Jesus. What oh, Yasmin? Wait, he's not here. Maybe other Vin will spill. Yeah, but where is he? I wanted to talk to you about a breakfast and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. And nicer, frankly. Finn. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Vin, Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? A her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Okay. Yeah, Vin said Maya had uh, mental health problems. Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems. Which may have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. 
and Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. All right. Uh, yeah, just don't go too hard on him or don't fo go forth and conquer. Oh, yeah. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. Perfect. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Of course, I know that. But first, let's check what we have here. A no number. What? Wait, 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 wait for that. I'm still reading through it and it'll reach out soon once I've made... Okay, he will reach. We made sense of it. What? Report from 40 or so years ago about a widow named Alderman. Would be in her late 60 now. What the freaking hell is going on over here? I'm all ears. Come on. Let me know what Would you find Alderman's out. Would Alderman's mother Believe know me. what happened to her son? I will. Yes, I cannot wait for that. Oh, shit. Do I have to go to Abraxas meetings now? This is why I never did extracurriculars. Oh, okay. That kind of an unknown number. Right, that's not bad, I guess. Diamond. All right, I guess that's uh, enough. Oh, Polaroid here. Yeah, yeah, let's grab that. The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Wow. Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. Say cheese, little guy. Man, what a nice one. Very nice. All right, so now let's uh, let's switch quickly to living world and let's see what they will talk about. Oh, wait, she's here? Wait, where's Vin? Oh, I think he came back. Oh, wait. No, in this world, he was standing here. Oh, by the coffee machine. And she's coming. Perfect. Can you let a man make a stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before. But I know about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues. But that wasn't the whole story, was it? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maya died. Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. Holy. Well, why would anyone want to hear about what you had to say about Maya? I don't know, Dinah, maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> Shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're making one. I grew up. Without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, Yasmin promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance! And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I've regretted it ever since. Then... That's... I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's not going to be a debate. I'm trying 
dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a brat dude? Like that? It doesn't feel very good. In the end, it does it. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class. And he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield. Which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. Yes, for sure. Now he will. Uh, what? Speak? Yes. Oh, right now we have this option. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please, enlighten me. Mm, I'm trying to help someone. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. Oh. Hmm. Gwen was framed to Lucas filled a restraining order. Oh, let's put... The, yeah, let's say that. What if I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Sophie? Well, I say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought. So, was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? Very shiny. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. Damn it. I really want to learn more. Max. And yeah, I guess I will stop it here. Yeah, let's do it. So. Yes, we will need to speak with Lucas right now. And then, well, then we will see what next. What else we gotta do to learn the truth. But this is not over, of course. This is chapter 3. We have 5 chapters still. There's still a lot uh, for us to I go through. So, so I cannot wait for that. But now, thank you so much for staying with me. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it so far. If you did, leave a like, a comment. I will appreciate it very much. And if you want to be updated with the content I share today, then please hit the subscribe button. I will be very grateful. And I will see you very soon in another episode from Life is Strange Double Exposure.